I started things out by laying some reject wood over the pegboard and just gave it a quick coating of wood glue. The next morning I realized I would need a lot more convincing for that middle piece because it was just so bent. Of course using wood glue is completely optional, but taking the extra time would really make it. This time I really loaded it up just to make sure that it wasn't going to go anywhere. Now using the magic of editing, we can fast forward 30 minutes and see that the glue has completely dried. Now I really had no plan on how I was going to get this board up, but given it was already 10 o'clock and it was only going to get hotter, I figured I might as well try now. The biggest problem I had was trying to squeeze that board behind the shelf on the right, and it really just took a ballet and maybe some brute force just to get it to fit in. Now I thought it was going to be really hard, but all in, it really only took about five minutes to get to this point. Now that I had just covered up the outlet, I needed to cut a hole in the pegboard to get access to it. Everything took a lot of fiddling because I couldn't see anything back there. Now this probably wasn't the brightest idea, but with no outlet cover and line voltage running, I was driving a drill bit straight into the outlet, just hoping I don't touch any wires. Using the shelving brackets from the shelf above, I just use that as my reference to draw a straight line going down. On the final step, I got to do the fun part of just screwing everything right in. I did most of the work by myself, but I wanted to say thanks to my cat for keeping me company. The real reason I wanted her outside was because she's really sick and I wanted to keep my eye out on her 